when we refer to speed in the full swing, we're referring to miles per hour, how fast something moves. Not only the golf club, but also the segments of the body. So let's say in theory that your club moved 100 miles an hour, which is achievable with a driver. Well then, your speed of your shoulders, speed of your hips, speed of your arms would all matter as well. So in that example where your club is moving 100 miles an hour, your arms would be going about 50 miles an hour, your shoulders, your torso would be going about 30 miles an hour, and your hips would be going about 20 miles an hour. 20%, 30%, and 50% of your speed. So knowing that, it's important to be using your whole body. If you don't use your lower body, if you don't use your upper body, or if you don't use your arms properly, you're losing a large percentage of your potential speed. In the most simplest form, swinging faster makes the ball go higher and further. If you want more distance, you need more speed, which gives you more height, more carry, more spin, stays in the air longer. If you want less distance, as in you're not trying to max out your power, you would swing slower, the ball would fly lower, and you would get less carry distance. So if I were to demonstrate now a smooth swing where my mouse per hour is slower, you'll see not much effort, but I won't hit it as far. So that was almost lazy, right? It was slow, the ball flighted low, and didn't carry as far. Now you'll see me swing faster in miles per hour with the club, which also means the speed of all my body segments have to move faster to make the club go faster. So where is the first one with this nine iron? My club speed was maybe 70 miles an hour. That second swing now is maybe 80 miles an hour. So all of my segments had to move faster in order to put that energy into the club and make the club go faster. So now if I try to swing even faster, let's say 90 miles an hour with this nine iron, now you're gonna see the segments of my body really have to fire and move very fast. My legs, my torso, my arms are gonna be moving much faster if I wanna max out my distance. So if I achieve that 90 miles an hour, now the ball will launch really high and fly very far. So that one looked really aggressive, right? As a beginner, you might not want to try that speed. Maybe you try the first two. But understand that more speed equals more distance and more height. From this angle, I'll give and demonstrate my three different speeds that you saw previously. I call them gears, my three different gears. So in order to make the club move faster or slower, my body also has to move faster and slower. Again, 20%, 30%, 50% of your overall speed. Here's gear one. So that was a smooth swing, not too much effort, ball came in flatter, didn't carry as far. Now I'll go on to gear two, more effort, more speed throughout my body, higher ball, a little more distance. That gear two is a speed I use most of the time. Most really successful golfers live in that gear. Now I'll try my gear three, launch it higher, carry it further, you'll see more speed out of all my body segments. That one launched the highest and carried the furthest. But again, maybe that technique isn't something for beginners. You learn how to do that one as you get more advanced.